In this video, I'm going to show how to create a toilet plunger effect. You never know when it might come in handy. So let's get started. In this scene, I already have some stuff set up. Like I've got my handle here, I've got a control object. It doesn't control anything yet. We're going to add an attribute to this later. And I've got two curves made for the outer profile and the inner profile of my plunger. So let's start by creating some NURB surfaces. I'm going to select my outer profile. You can make sure you're in the surfaces menu set here. Come up to surfaces. Choose revolve. Well, let's just first go in here and reset the settings. Now we're going to go surfaces, revolve. There's our outer profile. I'm going to select my inner curve now is this inside one and once again I'm going to choose surfaces revolve. Here's the overall shape of our plunger. Now we need to close off the gap up here and the gap down here. So I'm going to select the outer surface and then shift select the inside surface and we're going to go to our sub object level here and go to isoparm Select this isoparm, shift select this inside one. Now we're going to go surfaces loft. First, let's go reset settings and say loft. Then we'll repeat that process for down here. Select both surfaces, go to isoparm level, select this, shift select this, and once again, loft. So that should be it for our model. We can test this now by going to our control curve and editing its control vertices. And we should see that it follows. So there's the outside one. Now we have a separate curve doing the inside shape. So what I want to do is edit both of them at the same time. So I'll, have, I'll select both of them in the outliner here. And now if I move this, that updates. And to get the effect of the plunger, we want to use soft selection. So we'll go to our, if this isn't up here, you can go double click on your move tool over here. And that'll bring up the options. Come down here, turn on soft select. And I want all of this to move, but then to start tapering off right around here. And then just be really rigid from here down. And for me, a value of 10 seems to work pretty well. So you can see, that looks nice.